in regard of, uh, in regard of the performance, I mean accuracy. I missed, uh, missed this part. This is uh, identity is the sequence alignment, uh, se sequence similarity, not, not the sequence uh, identity, not similarity, sequence identity, not the structure homology. No, no, right? not. So did did, uh, did you consider using a structural uh, homology as a cutoff uh, to do the to separate into independent data set? Because in protein secondary structure prediction. All the data sets we use are sequence data sets. If we have the structure, we, we, oh, okay. yeah, we don't need to make prediction. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, sorry, <laughs> because I, 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 I'm not a pro, I, 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 have, I have no idea about protein uh, prediction. So, uh, you, may, you may use AlphaFold database for that purpose, I guess. Because there are tons of structures already predicted in AlphaFold database. Or, or Swiss oh, product database. I'm so stupid. Yeah. It is clever. I am stupid. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I prepared too many, too many, too many slides. Uh, in this paper, Apapo announced that they are going to predict the structure of all the amino acid sequences human know right now. Uh, and they have done that. About one or two months ago, they released over 200 million predicted protein structures on their database. So actually, if you have a protein sequence, you have a protein sequence and want to know uh, what its 3D structure may look like, you can search the database of AlphaFold uh, for home blocks. Yeah. Because if there is a protein with predicted structure that is sequence, uh, that is very similar in sequence of your query protein, I think the structure of your protein will be very likely also similar to the predicted structure. I don't know whether I answered your question. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, let's thank Dr. Lo again. Thank you, thank you.